Hey guys, uh, so another problem on simultaneous equations. So in this problem we're given an equilateral triangle with sides given in terms of x and y. And we are asked to form equations uh, in x and y, solve those equations, and therefore solve for x and y, and then finally find the side length. Okay, so looking at the problem, I have side lengths of 3x plus 2y, 3y minus 1, and finally 11 plus x minus 2y. I have an equilateral triangle, so I know that all three of these sides are equal. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose two of the sides and equate them, and in that way form an equation. So I will choose these two sides to begin with. So I have then a 3x plus 2y is equal to 3y minus 1. Again, it's an equilateral triangle, and therefore I know that the sides are equal. I will bring over from the right to the left my 3y minus 1, and so I get 3x plus 2y minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. Combining my y terms, I get 3x, 2y minus 3y, that's minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. I will call that equation number 1. I have one equation, it's two unknowns. So I need to find a second equation. Uh, what I will do is I will now equate this side and this side. I could just as easily choose these two sides, but I'll choose these two. So I have that 3x plus 2y must also be equal to 11 plus x minus 2y. That is, 3x plus 2y must be equal to 11 plus x minus 2y. Again, bringing from the right to the left, I have 3x plus 2y minus 11, subtracting 11 from both sides, minus x, and then finally 2y plus 2y is equal to 0. So I've subtracted 11 from both sides, I've subtracted x from both sides, and then added 2y to both sides. Everything is now on the left hand side of the equation. Gathering my like terms, 3x minus x, that's 2x. 2y plus 2y is 4y, and I have minus 11 is equal to zero, and now we'll call this equation number two. And so equation number one is three x minus y plus one is equal to zero, and then equation number two that I have formed is two x plus, plus four y minus 11 is equal to zero. Uh, I'm going to use the elimination method to eliminate one of the variables from these two equations. The easiest thing to do is to multiply this equation number one by four. That will give me a minus 4y term, which will then, when I add it to equation number 2, cancel with my plus 4y term here. So let me do that. We multiply this equation here by 4. And so I will get 4 times 3, that's 12x, minus 4y, plus 4, is equal to 0. This equation I'll put underneath is 2x plus 4y minus 11 is equal to 0. And now if I add my two equations together, my, my y term will cancel. 12x plus 2x is 14x. My y's will go away. 4 minus 11 is minus 7 is equal to 0. 14x minus 7 is equal to 0. Adding 7 to both sides, 14x is equal to 7. And therefore, x is equal to 7 divided by 14, which is 1 over 2. And so I find that x is equal to 1 half. Now to just solve for y, I will substitute back in my value of x into one of my original two equations. Let's put it in here. So I get, therefore, my equation of 1 becomes 3 times 1 half, 3x, 3 times 1 half, minus y, plus 1 is equal to 0. 3 times 1 half is 3 over 2, plus 1 is 5 over 2. So I have 5 over 2. I'll add y to both sides. That's equal to y. So I have, oops, I have that y is equal to 5 over 2. y equals 5 over 2. And over here, I have that x equals
equals one half. And those are my two values for x and y. So I've done the first part of the question. I found x and y. To just complete the second part, find the side length. I can choose any of the sides I like. Let's just choose this one. So the side length is 3 times y minus 1. But y is 5 over 2. So I get 3 times 5 over 2 minus 1. This is now my side length. 3 times 5 over 2. Well, 3 times 5 is 15 over 2 minus 2 over 2. 1 is 2 over 2. 15 minus 2 is 13 over 2, which is 6 and the 1 half. And that is now my side length. Could have also, you put my values for x and y in here or here. I would get the same answer. So I have solved the problem. Find my value of x is 1 half, my value of y is 5 over 2, and my side length is 6 